for all those uh, writers out there who are watching or listening to us now, if you could impart one or two or three, however many bits of wisdom that you like, um, that might make easier their path uh, that you've told your clients over the years, what would you want them to hear? Huh. Okay. Well, I love this question. Um, and I've been thinking about it all day. Um, and I also um, checked in with my colleagues to see what they had to say. Um, and so I got a couple of different responses. Um, the first was, um, don't let any mean people make you cry. <laughs> I think that's great advice. Um, the second was, be patient, have patience. Um, it's not, it's, it's entirely necessary in publishing. Everything takes time and it takes more time than you want it to take. And then you will be in a giant rush um, because then your editor will suddenly show up and say, oh my God, okay, here it is. And I need this back in a week. Can you do that? Um, so just pace yourself and recognize that being patient is um, a key, truly a key, a key skill. Um, so that's what a couple of colleagues of mine said. When I was thinking about this, um, Rob, I was thinking about, because um, of the note you sent, what is the advice? I think you said, what is the advice if you could go back and give yourself um, at any point in your career? So I'm not a writer, but I think this still applies. Um, the thing that I wish I had known sooner, maybe, um, is that um, to, to cultivate my inner, um, my inner voice, my inner sense of what's exciting to me when I'm reading and, 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 and what I'm just really thrilled about. Um, and not to try, this is part of it, but it's not the main part of it, but not to try to worry about what would so-and-so think about this? What would so-and-so think about this? N not to try to guess that. That's part of what's necessary, but there's also just allowing yourself to really hear, it's it, hear your gut, your gut instinct, and let that, I think when you're really listening to that, that sense of yourself um, grows more confident and you can hear hear that that inner voice, that inner arbiter better. And um, at the end of the day, I think as a writer, um, what you can ultimately really control is, is your writing and having a very clear sense of what you are trying to achieve, the stories you wanna write, what who you wanna be as a writer, that is up to absolutely nobody but you. And holding on to that and knowing what that is very clearly is um, just gonna hold you in really good stead. Um, so that's what, my advice would be to cultivate your inner, cultivate your gut, your instincts, and really build on that sense of, of who you are and who you want to be.